we are called to ask, what would unselfish, sacrificial love do? What would love do? I'm guessing I'm not the only one who thought the shutdown was temporary, as in only for a few weeks. Surely I'd be back at church on Easter Sunday, but that didn't happen. At a time when I was frightened and confused, the comforts that I got from attending church weren't there. It was a time of soul-searching prayer. What does God expect of me? How am I to deal with all of this? As I would read the weekly mini-messenger, and I continued to pray about my upside-down world, the love of God made it clear to me. I might not be in the Sunday service in the Emmanuel physical building, but Emmanuel was still there for me. I just needed to connect in a different way. When I think about what love would do, I think about my friends. If I had a friend or a family member in need, I'd find a way to help, even a way out of the ordinary. Emmanuel was there for me. Emmanuel was continuing, staying connected with me through Holy Week, through Holy Liturgies, YouTube videos of beautiful music, instrumental and vocal, providing access to online sermons and readings and Bible studies. I may not have been physically in the building, but Emmanuel was there for me. And all I had to do was open myself up to a new way to connect. I must admit, it's not the same. But I've actually learned to accept and enjoy this new way of connecting. When I heard that the services were going to start again in the building, I couldn't wait. I signed up for it so quickly that first Sunday, you would have thought I was going to the most popular concert in America. But I admit, the first time I went, it felt a little weird. I needed to mourn the old ways, and I needed to feel the love to accept the new. Now going on Sunday feels better and better. My only adjustment now is knowing I'm going at 9 o'clock when I'm used to going at 8 o'clock. But then after a while, I felt selfish. That my love for going to the service was preventing others from experiencing it. Here I was taking a spot every Sunday, which meant there was someone else that couldn't experience this service. So I decided to wait till Saturday, and sure enough, the Sunday service was full. So there were several weeks I didn't go because I felt it was important for others to go. But now I give myself permission to go again. I love walking into the church. I even get to hear Michael on the organ, which as an eight o'clocker, I never did get to hear before. I love hearing the prayers and reciting the prayers, even in right to. I enjoy being a reader, but most of all, I love receiving Holy Communion. When I leave, I have a sense of closeness with God, like my week is starting the right way. This is how I found what love does for me. Mm -hmm.